on God's word, when we're going through something and we're holding on to a scripture, we could just stand firm and we'll always get the victory. Amen. Wow. Keep going. Can I skip? This is good. The sigil or logo. <coughs> See this? Babe, I don't know what that is. It's like a gold bird or whatever. <laughs> no matter what shield you looked at, that was on there. So it, I, I had to know what it was. It covered the whole shield. This logo represented they came in the authority of Caesar and Rome. Many of their enemies would flee from fear just by seeing the shield. Right. Just by seeing that logo. So let me tell you, let me tell you what, what this represented. We have to imagine. When we read all about... Uh, the Romans, how they were in uh, Jerusalem, and they tortured Jesus. And they, they weren't just taking over Jerusalem at the time, or Israel. They ruled half of right. the world. Right. So if, uh, we got to understand that this logo represented, you can't beat us. You know when we see Labrador, or we see uh, Jandari, you see Art, right. or, or, Mulem, but then, right. nothing, right. we have nothing to worry about. I'm going to speed limit, but you just get that. When the Gajay would see this logo on their shield, <clears throat> They would run backwards. Wow. An army on the battlefield would see this from, babe, a thousand yards away and say, oh, the Romans are coming, Mulan, and run backwards. Wow. Click it. The Roman government. So what's on our shield? Woo, come on. Come on. Oh, wow. Come on. I'm going to tell you guys what's on my shield, and it's probably on many of you guys' shields too. Click it. Isaiah 54, Come 17. On. No weapon formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue which rises up against you in judgment you shall condemn. This is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is from me, says the Lord. Amen. Look at it again. This is what else is on our shield. Behold, I give you an authority to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing by any means shall harm you. Look at it. Amen. And we know that all... That God causes all everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Amen. Amen. Let's stay here for a minute. Amen. So when we know, we, we, I read earlier, how do we get faith? Faith comes by hearing the word, right? So when we know this word and it's on our shield because it's the shield of faith, faith comes by hearing the word. When the enemy sees you now behind this shield and he sees that scripture... He runs backwards. Amen. He knows he's got no shot. Click it again. This is what I really, really like. But stay, I'm going to stay on the last topic so I clear it up. When, when we're standing on those scriptures, and that's what's the logo on our shield, what it does is, no matter what we're going through, it sends the enemy that we're standing on. Let's say I'm going through something, and I'm standing on that everything's working for my good. The enemy sees that, he sees it on the shield, whatever. Maybe even it's a problem. Your problem sees that. It runs backwards. We're coming in the, not, these gajay were coming in the authority of Rome, of Caesar. How much more are, are we should take this serious? We're coming in the authority of God Almighty, Amen. the creator of heaven and earth. Amen. Amen. And Amen. he's giving you this shield. Amen. You know, it doesn't say anything about, and they worked for it, and the Roman soldiers paid for it, and they had to save up. They were given it. The same way God has given us this word right here. But here's the thing. We don't know the scriptures. Then our shield is blank. So that's what our Bible studies are for. Iron sharpens iron. That's why we're all together. That's why we're all here. The more we learn. The more we read. Our faith gets stronger. Amen. This is going to be good. You want to ready? Pastor Jeff's going to really like this. <laughs> there's no back to the armor, and there's nothing to shield us from behind. So I always heard everybody say, because what happens is when, when somebody backslides, they're not protected. And I'm not going to touch on that, because there's two pastors back there. But let me tell you why there's no back. Click it. Ecclesiastes, if I pronounce that right, I never yeah, that's do. Four twelve, a person standing alone can be attacked and defeated, but two can stand back to back and conquer. We are even better for a triple rated sword is not easily broken. The reason that there's no back to the armor 
is because when we see one of the boys are falling away or hasn't been in church or you see they're going through something, I'm we're supposed to stand back to back with them and put up our shield for them now. Amen. Click it. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Click it again. I also tell you this. If two of you agree here on earth concerning anything you ask, my Father in heaven will do it for you. For where there are two or three gathered together as, as my followers, I am there among them. Amen. Amen. So we see how no matter what, even, even forget we're doing a study on, on uh, the armor of God and soldiers. And no matter what, this scripture is still talking about numbers, how there's power in numbers. You understand? Right. So let alone when we think about putting on this armor, like Wally said earlier, and we think about putting all this stuff, now we're just thinking about ourselves. How would there be an army if, how would I be a soldier in an army if I'm just one dude? <laughs> it wouldn't make any sense, you understand? Why even? Well, I'm a part of the Roman army. How many guys you got have? Just me. <laughs> just one for now. So, what it's talking about is, the way it's talking about a uh, Roman soldier is because through the whole Bible, God is telling us we all need to be together and work together. That's, right. That's why we come to church. We say our prayer request. There's power in prayer when two or three agree on something. And we see that all of these problems and, and all of these attacks and everything we go through, God's always with you. But also, we're not alone. We have our pastor. We have our deacons. We have each other. Amen. Click it. Uh -huh. This was called the Orbis Formation. This is something different. Look at this, Pastor Jeff. See how they're all standing back to back? Click it. The Orb was a defensive formation in the shape of a complete circle, which could be taken by a unit which had either become detached 